I have a 55 inch uh, LCD TV. Uh, it's a uh, model number um, WP 4K 55 U 18. It's made by Walker. That is just uh, a badge name. It would be most likely a, uh, possibly a Vestel inside. Uh, I'll have to look and see. Uh, Walker normally use Vestel type chassis. Uh, I'm going to plug it in and let you have a look. And by light is flashing and walker comes up and then it shuts down and uh, could be power supply it could be anything could be software and um, could be backlights there could be an open circuit backlight in one of the uh, um, led uh, legs uh, there could be a shorted diode um, no way of knowing right now at the moment uh, my next step really is to put on the space and and um, remove the cover and have a look. Okay, I'm just going to do a few voltage checks on this. Um, this pin here is the supply, and this here is where it switches. Um, there will be a a chip somewhere on the board here which would uh, bring this low so current would flow through the uh, LED diodes so they would light up. Uh, let's just have a look at what we have. There is some voltage on this already because I had it switched on. Um, let me just see. Can you see? That. So make sure you can see the meter. Uh, plug it in up to 115 221 and on the switch side showed about 40 volts to, uh, yeah well it will when it switches off wouldn't it so let's see what the switch side is like when it switches on so it's 16 volts let's see when it switches on it goes up to nearly 19.71 volts I'm not too sure what should be on the uh, the uh, switch side of that. Um, I don't have any uh, information on that. But I do know if you do have shorted diodes, I've had them on Walker before, it does bring that voltage up higher and the circuit detects that and then shuts down. Um, I do have an LED tester here. Um, uh, as I've used in the previous video. And... Uh, it's not going to really show me and all it's going to do is show me um, that the circuit lights and we already know the lights uh, okay there's nothing for it but just to get in there and strip down the panel and see what's going on and hoping it's not uh, software related uh, I can't see anything uh, on the board uh, no markings or anything like that and the biggest problem with these walkers is the LED diodes on the panel okay I have the screen uh, strip down and uh, I did start it up um, and had a look at it and all the LEDs are lighting up however um, I'm just going to show you this This is a problem we're having with Samsung and LG, or sorry, LG uh, TVs. Uh, I don't know if the camera's picking it up, but they're all mostly blue. There's a few of them, a bit off colour. Um, what that is, is, is that it's uh, the red and green part of the diode is dead so you'd have a blue tint on the screen uh, if you remember at the beginning of the video I talked about the logo it just didn't look right and this is a problem uh, with a lot of Samsung and LG uh, as I've said uh, I can only order second hand 
um, LED strips. I can't find the source of new ones. Um, if someone knows out there where you can get brand new ones of these, let me know. But I would imagine um, getting the new would make this a very expensive job and the customer will never go ahead with it. Um, I will not be going ahead with this repair, trying to replace all those diodes. Um, uh, I'd have to replace all of them. Uh, there's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven diodes on each strip, and there's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and there's seven strips. Uh, I am not going to do this. Um, it would the labour charges on it, the time taken to do this would be too much. Um, I'm going to just do a BER on this, it's beyond economical repair. I'm just going to get a close shot of one of the diodes if this will actually focus in. I've taken the lens cap off one of these diodes, as you've probably seen in uh, the last clip. Um, when I had them turned on, one light looked a bit different. And you're going to see these, these are very small. Hope this will zoom in without losing its focus. It's as far as I can go in. And uh, right there at the tip is the uh, light. And I'm going to just see can I light it up for you. focus going to have to back out a bit as you can see a distinct blue light um, I'm not having much success lately with these uh, LEDs these type of LEDs uh, Even if I wanted to replace them, I don't mind replacing one or two, but not the whole uh, strip. Um, people are not going to pay for it. You know, customers will not pay that type of money. I'm going to leave it at that, put this back together and bring up the customer and say it's not economical for me to do this. Uh, thanks for watching.